Hi folks, Chris Anderson, Mount Comfort RV. Today, just took in a used coach. It is beautiful. It is very low mileage. It's one of those that people ask me for. Hey, it's one that somebody else maybe took a hit on. These folks wanted to get a little bigger. So they traded in their 2017 31 BR Allegro Breeze. This has 5,700 miles on it. It is like new. In fact, I have one of these new that I can charge you more for, and it's probably not as nice as this one because this one, number one, a lot of the little kinks and things that happen with new coaches have been worked out of it. Number two, it's only 5,700 miles. And number three, this guy was extremely nice and left a lot of goodies that don't come on the new one. So let's get right to it. So 2017 Breeze 31 BR comes with aluminum wheels. Independent front suspension. Now this is a 275 horse Cummins 5 liter V8. It's a newer engine model for Cummins. They're also using the same engine in the, in the new Nissan Titan XDs, or HDs, HDs, XDs, whichever. Um, the diesel Titan is, is using the same motor. 275 horsepower, 560 foot-pounds of torque. Now you may say, well, that's not a lot for a diesel. Well, it's not a lot for a 43 or a 45 footer, but this is a 31 foot coach that weighs less than a lot of gasoline powered coaches. This is a small diesel. It's, a, not, it's for that guy that doesn't want the 45 foot behemoth um 560 foot pounds of torque that's 100 more foot pounds of torque than your gas engines have okay so those gas engines will go up and down the mountains now they do it slower than diesels but this is same weight 100 foot pounds more torque it's it's going to be plenty of power um for, for a 31 foot coach so let's get to it dual fuel fill you can fill this on either side that way the pump's never on the wrong side we have not cleaned this coach yet, and it is very, very, very clean. It comes with this grill. Nice little grill setup they have here. We look in this compartment right here. There's a couple extra of the vinyl tiles in there. Let's open this compartment. We're going to see all sorts of things. First of all, this complete compartment is all covered in the Ozite. Secondly, they put in this nice little propane manifold system over here. This is not something that is standard on a breeze. This is for hooking up your grill, which I've seen that before, but what this guy did was even extra special. He put two hookups on there, so it can be a grill and something else, some other propane powered setup. So ni nice deal. Okay, there's a couple of your holding tanks there. That looks like black and gray. Notice they have the exterior tank monitors on them. So you always get a true reading when the probe is on the outside, as opposed to the probe being on the inside and getting gunked up. Um, also, less chance for a leak with a, with a probe on the outside. All right, take a look here. We have an LG, not some brand name you've never heard of, an actual brand name television. Right, built right into the side wall, right out here under your awning. By the way, we do have, if we look up, a metal wrap to protect it, uh, patio awning, and an over-the-door awning as well. Those are, of course, both power awnings. Moving right along. Let's check this compartment. Okay, there's going to be our AC condenser for the coach. Also, some air hookup if you need to air up any toys. Now back here we have our chassis batteries and you can look right back in there. I see the chassis disconnect. So if you're putting your coach in storage, you can actually shut your coach off. All right, this is a rear engine diesel. Uh, previously, there have been a few um, diesel pushers released into the, well, diesels released into the marketplace in previous years that were front engine diesels. Well, those were, number one, they weren't air ride. This is a full air ride, air brake coach, just like your big buses. Uh, number two, they were noisy as all get out because that diesel engine's right up front. With this, you don't even hear the engine going down the road. It's a very quiet platform. You can see a nice big rear radiator coach here. Here's your tow hitch down below. Check all of our fluid levels. This is nice because I'm five foot 10 and Tony's taller than me. We're standing under here pretty comfortably. Um, so it's actually a lot of room to get back in here. Okay, we'll back out of here and shut this. You see, we've got a nice, beautiful rear cap, one piece camera molded in at the top. This is a fiberglass roof on all Tiffin products. Beautiful paint job. Tiffin goes above and beyond with the amount of clear coat they use on their coaches. 
Okay, back here we see our 50 amp shore power cord, but also, more importantly, this box right here, that's our auto transfer switch. Now, an auto transfer switch is what switches your power from generator power to shore power when you plug in. That's a nice little setup, but that one has surge protection built into it, so um, you don't have to buy an extra surge protector if you don't want to. Okay. All right, here we have our DEF tank, diesel exhaust fluid. This is part of the after treatment on the engine, just emission control. You use about a gallon of DEF for every 50 gallons of fuel that you use, so not a lot, um, but that's, that's where you fill the DEF tank at. This coach is in immaculate condition inside and out. I cannot go over that enough. Here's our wet bay. Obviously, you can see very good access to the water pump and the siphon hose for winterization. You can see where you drain your black and your gray down here. Little, little spot for some hand sanitizer. A black tank flush is in here. Hot and cold water are also in here. And your whole house water filtration system. All in one nice compartment. Okay, here's some of the goodies I talked about that the previous owner is leaving with this coach. Um, now, the central vac came with the coach, but have a very elaborate uh, set of hoses here for your uh, tank flush, along with the little ladder system right here. That's for when you're set up, you know, longer term at a campsite. It's a nice little support system for your sewer hose that uh, has it always running downhill. That is all included in this coach. Next. Okay, more extras. These are the little leveling blocks. These are these fit together like Legos, and uh, you can put them under wheels or tires um, when you're in a really unlevel spot. Now, this coach does have an air leveling system on it. It doesn't have leveling jacks per se. It has what a lot of half million dollar on up coaches have, which is an air leveling system. It's easy, just hit auto, auto level, and the coach will level itself out, and you're not worried about digging uh, your, your jacks down into the mud. So it does it with the airbag system. There's our propane bottle. Easy access there. As we talked about on the other side, dual fuel fill. Now the generator's running right now. It's very quiet. Of course, it is a diesel generator in the nose of the coach. Here's some chassis fuses and chassis, or chassis circuit breakers and chassis electrical up front here. All right, I'll tell you what. I know what you really want to see is the inside of this coach. It's even cleaner than the outside. Let's go check it out. All right, folks, as is our routine, we're going to show you the inside with the slides in to start with. This is, again, a 2017 31BR Allegro Breeze with 5,700 miles on it. Slides are completely in right now. We still have a good walkway here. A little snug at the end of the boost, but not bad. I don't have to turn sideways or anything. And then come back through here. Obviously, refrigerator is easy to get in and out. Bathroom, easy access here. I can certainly get to the queen bed and even lay on the bed. So um, easy access through this coach, even with the slide rooms in. And we'll open it all up for you now and show you what it looks like fully expanded. Okay, we have our breeze all opened up, but first of all, a couple of rules. We don't interrupt the middle of your videos with a bunch of ads, so we only have one real rule. It's actually a request. Please like and subscribe to our page. That helps us out, number one. Number two, if you like this and you want to talk more about it, and certainly for the love of God, if you want to buy it, don't forget to ask for me. That's why we do this, and uh, we'll take it from there. So that's the rules. We are in Indianapolis, Indiana. And um, now this coach is all opened up. Again, this is a 2017 virtually brand new 31BR Allegro Breeze. I'm going to go over it uh, from one end to the other here, so sit tight, and I'm going to show you all the extras this comes with. First of all, let's start with the fuzzy seat covers. He said he put these on on day one, so if you don't like them, the seats underneath are brand new. They've been protected since the very first day, but they're actually surprisingly comfortable. I like them. So um, we have uh, day and night shades in here. Well, I shouldn't say day and night. We have MCD style uh, window shades in here. You can either have the screen or you can have the blackout on here. Nice part about these are they're not like the old 1970s roller shades where if you let them go, they go up and unwind themselves. They go up nice and slow. So um, we, we have the uh, day shades down now. You can still kind of see what's going on outside, but uh, nobody can really see in the coach during the daytime. At night, they would be able to see in once you had it lit up in here. So you would want to pull down your, your private shade so those are throughout the coach some of the extras we talked about the seat covers 
This has tire pressure monitoring. That's what the easy tire thing there is on the, in, on the side. That he left with the coach because with his new coach, he wanted a different one. And his new coach had GPS built into it. So look at the size of this Garmin that's in here. That is the biggest Garmin screen I've ever seen. Um, that comes with it as well. So that's just a few of the extras. We talked about automatic air leveling. Here's the pad that controls that. You can do it manually, but the automatic works very, very well. We do have a six-speed Allison transmission, power and heated mirrors on this coach as well. We do have a brake controller down there, which is uh, so if you have a trailer to pull behind you that has electric brakes or some of your towing systems with your toads, um, you use a standard brake controller and that would work for this as well. Um, the engine's actually running right now and you don't even really hear it. And again, let's check out the mileage on there. I had to hit this a few times a minute ago to get it to bring it up. There's your odometer, folks. 5,712 miles. 5,712. Under 6,000 miles on this coach. That's how close to new this is. Okay. Um, we have a backup camera right here, and it does have side cameras built into either mirror. Your shades up front in the front window here, it has the same thing. It has the privacy shade. It has the screens. This is power up here. The rest of them are manual. This is a power shade up here um, because when you're sitting in that driver's seat, you obviously would not be able to reach this very well. We have a Kenwood AM FM CD stereo with Bluetooth built in, and it is Sirius capable as well. All your heater controls are underneath that for your, for your dash heat and air. Extra little cup holder here so you have one on either side so the passenger has one the driver has one and then there's one that's up for grabs okay nice little storage cubbies up front here let's uh take a look at some of the storage here because we're going to find some extra things here here's the box and all the instructions for the tire pressure monitoring system um, that, that is included with this coach up here we have what's called the Wii boost okay this is for boosting um your your um Actually, I believe your internet signal on here is what that's for, so you can um, actually get better uh, Wi-Fi coverage uh, with your devices. Okay. Now over here we have our triple vision, which the triple vision switch just controls whether you're trying to get over the air TV or whether you're getting something from the satellite system. This does have a built-in um, satellite and is an in-motion satellite as well. So your cell booster. Uh, so master switches here. We do have dash fans. Now most of the time these end up pointing back at the driver and passenger. They're actually supposed to be pointed this way to help aid with defrosting uh, the coach on a real humid night or something, but everybody uses them as their own personal fan. Eh, that, I'm okay with that. Over here, this coach does have a solar system built into it as well. Um, so those of you who like to dry camp, like to boondock, this has a ZAMP system uh, that the previous owner built in. I believe there are three solar panels on the roof of this coach. Don't hold me to that. I believe it's three. I'm not climbing up there. It's cold. It's a little wet out there today. Um, but it does have a solar system built in, and it's more than your standard you know, little bitty panel that doesn't do much. So instructions and everything are built in there as well, or included in there as well. We're just putting that back. All right. There's the box that comes with the Garmin, some extra LED bulbs. I think that's the, the WeBoost box is right here. So all of those boxes and manuals are in here. This gentleman was extremely meticulous. That's what you want. Um, and uh, he, he gave us a real, real peach of a trade-in here. Okay, so we have a sofa here. Um, some extra toss pillows. This does fold out uh, into a full-size um, height of bed. This is a residential flex steel furniture, all covered in ultra leather. One of the things that you don't get very often um, and, until you spend $400,000 or more in, in motor coaches is all solid wood cabinets. Now, just about everybody will do a solid wood door. At the very least, the trim around the door is solid. But then you get into this right here, and this will be a wrapped wood. These, these, these styles will be vinyl wrapped um, uh, sometimes particle board, um, but at the very least it's something less expensive and less quality than just a nice stained piece of wood. Um, this is all real wood throughout this entire coach, so there is no wrapped wood in a Tiffin. And they do a wonderful job with interior storage. So all one big compartment. Yeah. Even your windows, your window boxes, again solid wood. We have an outlet 
back here as well. That's a nice placement for that. If you're sitting here on the couch, you can actually charge your device. Let's switch over to the booth side here. We do have a booth that does fold down into a bed, so we can sleep a couple extra people here and one or two of their kids here on this side. Um, beautiful solid surface, not only countertops throughout here, but on the uh, uh, table itself. And then we have storage below. Okay, now well, central vac system. There's all the tools for it. He even included some extra Dirt Devil bags because he's a swell guy. There's more storage here. Now. When we talk meticulous, and I've dealt with some meticulous folks before, but there's meticulous and then there's really, really meticulous. Let's take a look here. He's probably gonna watch this video and laugh at me. To take every one of your owner's manuals and go to this painstaking care to get them color-coded, perfectly labeled throughout this coach that's the type of person that owned this before you. That's the type of meticulous care he took of the coach. Um, if I was buying a coach, that's the kind of guy I want to buy from. So that's, that was your previous owner. All right, let's talk about multiplex lighting. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Basically, it's a computer-controlled lighting system throughout the coach. You see this on, again, three and $400,000 diesels. You've come to expect it. You don't see it throughout the model line. Tiffin does it throughout the model line. Now, I'm going to trade places with Tony here. I always keep Tony guessing as to where I'm going next. It's not like we rehearse these. Um, so we've got a switch down here. I'll let him get a shot of it here. Oh, I can't take the camera from me. He's, he's plugged in. I'll let him get a shot of it first. This is what I'm gonna be playing with. And this is right when you walk in the door. So you walk in your coach, it's late at night. Now I'm gonna do something here that might not be great for video, but I hope it comes out okay. All right, the whole coach just got dark. So we walk in our coach in the middle of the night, it's dark. I can hit one button, the master light switch, and light up the entire coach. I hit one switch and everything is lit up in this coach. That's one of the beauties of multiplex lighting. Not only can I light up the whole coach, but if I'm leaving the coach and I left this light on in the back bedroom, I can hit the master light switch right here and it all goes dark. So there are these panels throughout the coach. That's the easy one to get to when you're walking in, but you'll see other little panels like right here where you can control multiple lighting throughout the coach from one little place. You don't have to walk necessarily all the way into a room to turn on the lights to that room. Again, that's a very high-end system. It's not something that's new. Heck, they've had it in coaches for, for 15 years now, but it was always in that four, five, six hundred thousand dollar coach. It wasn't down in this playing level. And, and, and um, to have a fiberglass roof, all solid wood, air ride diesel pusher with air um, leveling on the coach and multiplex lighting. There's a lot of bus here, okay? A lot of bus in a little package. Residential refrigerator, of course, this is controlled by the inverter. So going down the road, this works just fine, even if your generator's not running, because your engine charges your batteries, your batteries supply the inverter, the inverter um, supplies the uh, refrigerator, so on and so forth. Nice television here. This is going to be about a 40 inch. Again, it's a Samsung TV. It's a name brand. It's not some brand you've never heard of. And we have a nice electric fireplace below. That can either put out heat or not. Your choice. All right, let's enter into the kitchen area here. Um, I'm going to open up all the cabinets on this wall. There are a lot of cabinets in a small amount of space here, um, cabinets and drawers. So I'm going to start back at the end of the booth here, Tony. I don't think we did these. All one big cabinet, so if you have longer items, you can slide that in there. All these, again, all solid hardwood up on nice metal struts. You don't have to stand there and hold the door open. Okay, I'm just gonna open these all up. Okay. Huge over kitchen and over booth storage in this coach. It's a lot of cabinets in a small coach. All right, look at the drawers. There's your remote controls. He left the liner in there, nice little silverware divider. Okay, more remote controls, more owner's manuals. Coach is very, very clean. We have a convection microwave below, undermounted. 
that's nice i know for a lot of times i hear some some shorter ladies especially tell me they can't reach into the microwave this one's mounted low where um, it's easy you do have a three burner cooktop underneath but they left the cutting board with it so how awesome is that three outlets in the kitchen very well placed instead of being under the cabinet where the toaster cord is not long enough to reach they are actually mounted just like they are in a residential uh, setup oh the paper towel holder I got a go. paper towel holder is cool all right now I had never seen one of these so if you've seen it forgive me but it here it kind of ratchets out and you know how you have that situation where you you pull out a paper towel and then you go to pull it off of there and the whole roll comes out and then there's cuss words and all that good stuff watch this you never get more than one with this i kind of oohed not over this and I, I gotta tell you they were nice enough they bought me one of these and brought it to me um how, how awesome is that for them so i have one of these at home now um thanks to this wonderful customer and eh, they're they're cool it's not but it'll never unroll the whole uh the whole lot of paper towels so that's that's nice all right under mount stainless steel sink Storage below. Huh? Look at this little pull out here. These are adjustable. If you want this higher or lower, you can raise or lower that. All right, let's take a look at the bathroom. We're in a smaller coach. Again, we're a 31 footer. So you're never gonna walk into a 31 footer and say, oh my goodness, the bathroom is humongous. Uh, but it's very adequate in here. You do have, a, of course, a porcelain toilet. You have Corian uh, in and around the sink area. Your shower is, is again, adequate. I, I, I try to be as straightforward on these videos as I can be without you know, embellishing um, uh, anything this these are a nice it's actually a nice molded one-piece shower this lifts up this slides over okay there's actually plenty of room in here again i'm i'm about five nine five ten two twenty five i've got room you know to get to get the job done so that's nice come over here we have a nice medicine cabinet again adjustable shelves storage here storage below there's your toilet paper holder mounted to the inside of that door it's actually a good spot for it okay let's move on to the bedroom all right we have a walk around queen bed usb chargers on both sides 110 plugs on both sides and multiplex lighting switches right next to the bed so if you need to if you left a light on somewhere you can control it from in here how nice is that solid wood pocket doors uh, here let me get to that cubby everybody wants to see inside all the little cubbies little storage on both sides i can tell you this is a memory foam mattress i can tell by leaning on it all right let's get to some bedroom storage three cabinets above four drawers below nope oh, i lied three drawers below forgot circuit breakers are in here um we have 12 volt circuit breakers and 110 circuit breakers okay all right three more drawers over here Now behind here, this is our audio, our AV center, if you will, our audio-visual audio controllers and everything are in here. So we have a direct TV box that does come with this. Try to get out, out of the way. Like I said, it does have a satellite on the roof. There's a home little uh, LG home theater system right down here as well. I believe that plays DVDs also. I see a play button, that's a good sign. Another LG TV, that's probably, a, it's at least a 26, might be a 32 inch TV. I need to start bringing my tape measure out here. back closet i'm going to sit on the bed and try to get out of the way the light comes on automatically now to your left you're going to see two folding chairs it can be used at the dinette as well good hanging space all the way across very well lit okay all right 
right, and then lastly, we've got storage over the bed. Okay, this is nice and deep, goes all the way back, and I can't reach that one, you're gonna have to take my word for it, it looks just like these two. It is open all the way through there. There's a little bit of a hump, if you notice all of a sudden my head's against the ceiling. We're back over the engine compartment now. So, and the engine is running, and you still can't hear it. It's a very, very quiet coach. Okay, that's the Allegro Breeze 2017 model. Again, 5,700 miles. This is probably cleaner than my new one, uh, in, in all honesty. I mean, it's just, you, know, you get some construction debris and, and dirt. And, oh, I forgot one more thing he threw in. Hang on, hang on. I just saw it while I was standing here. He had this custom carpet for the steps and for the entryway put in. That's uh, a nice, so you can take it out if you don't like it, but it's really nice so you're not tracking up the floor when you first come in. This is something you can take out and clean. It is, it is bonded on the edges there. I mean, it is custom made to fit this. I don't know where he got it, but, but that's a pretty, pretty slick setup. So anyway, that's it. Um, don't forget to ask for me. Number one rule, okay? That's why we do this. Don't forget that. Um, if you liked our video, click the like button. Thanks for watching. My name is Chris Anderson. I'm with Mount Comfort RV.